Deployable anywhere on the world's high seas, Aegis cruisers and destroyers are outfitted with unrivaled weaponry, contributing to sea-based ballistic missile defense. The standard missile 3, under development at Raytheon, uses hit-to-kill technologies to intercept short and medium-range ballistic missiles outside the Earth's atmosphere. In late 2005, the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Team successfully conducted its sixth SM-3 intercept test. The USS Lake Erie is the primary test ship. The Aegis destroyer USS Hopper, one of many long-range surveillance and track ships, also participated in the mission. This test was also conducted as a training exercise for the sailors. The ships received a fictitious scenario to defend an ally against a threat country having a weapons of mass destruction capability. Lake Erie, this is Hopper at time 2224 Zulu, Aegis Ops Cap Green, over. Lake Erie, a good target. The sailors prepared by rehearsing every possible scenario involving ballistic missile threats. Flash, strike 80005, over. Normally when we get underway for any kind of operation, we start out by reviewing the messages and look at the threat that we're going to be dealing with so that we know what kind of voice reports we need to make and how to configure our sensors to battle that threat. The target was launched from the Pacific Missile Range facility at a time undisclosed to the sailors. The Lake Erie's Aegis weapon system detected and tracked the target, then developed a fire control solution. The SM-3 intercepted the target approximately six minutes later and 100 miles in space. Got him. Yeah. The test was the first intercept, intercept. of a separating target. Because re-entry vehicles can fly faster and for a longer distance, they are more difficult to intercept than...